What's up, guys? This is Matthew from Metabase, and I want to show you how fast you can get connected to your database and start analyzing your data. And you can do this whether you're technical or non-technical. So let's jump right into it. Here we have a fresh instance of Metabase running. I've gone through the first couple steps, but the next step is to add your data and you can connect to your database or your data warehouse. In this example, we'll be connecting to Postgres. So I'll go ahead and click on Postgres. For our display name, I'm going to put in taco shop. You can always change this later, but this is how it shows up for your users in Metabase. Next, go ahead and get the host name, the port, the database name, username, and password, and I'll see you in a second. Once you have that added, we can come over here to schemas. You can select all, or I'm going to go only these, and I only want to see our public schema, so I'll put that in there. And we have more advanced security like SSL or SSH, so you can turn that on if you want. And then we're going to hit connect database. Next, we'll go ahead and click finish and take me to Metabase. And depending on the size of your data warehouse or your database, this may take a little bit time to sync, but once it's there, any user can log in and start playing around with the data. So we'll go to databases, we'll go to taco shop, and we'll click on taco shop orders. Once this loads, there's some really cool things that we can do. Like if I hover over item, I can see the six distinct menu items, I can hover over here and I can see an average min and max for the price. But say I don't know SQL, I wanna see our sales over time. How could I do something like that? Well, I could just click on total and I can say sum over time. Cool, now we're looking at our total sales over time. We're looking at it by week, but let's look at this by month. So we can click that. And we have this nice line chart. If I go here and hover, you can see that in the tooltip, we have a date, we have a sum of total, and you can see that we're down negative 13% compared to the previous month. Maybe here we have like this spike. We want to know what happened. So right out of the box, I can just click on this and I can say, let's break this out by item. This loads and now I see our six menu items and I can see our California burrito had the top sales. Thanks for watching guys. And if you wanna to connect to your own database and start analyzing data with Metabase, you can try it free for 14 days. See ya.